exciting day for us in our, in our first time, I guess you could say. You know, new era, new beginning, and we certainly hit the ground running and uh, had a lot going on since I uh, got hired December 13, and slowly getting into it and uh, hiring staff and doing a lot of other things. And now it's finally here, February 1st, National Sign Day for everybody in the country, and uh, certainly especially for us as well. You know, we go through the same process as all the big schools and smaller schools, and uh, you know, that's a lot of your staff and your administration and your school. And, it's, a, uh, it's an interesting time. It's a great time. And a chance to meet and greet a lot of families across the state, the tri-state area. And, you know, their sons have, um, have worked hard, have a great career, you know, apply their trade, and now it's a chance to be recruited and, uh, with the culmination of, of signing day. Well, again, I'd like to welcome everybody. I appreciate everybody coming and uh, enjoying this process with us. Um, the process, uh, as we discussed a little bit, you know, got hired on December 13th, wasn't able to hire a a staff until January 7th, in reference to just the time frame of everything. Got back to school, started morning workouts on uh, the 11th, we're in our 10th one at this point. At the same time, we're asking our assistants to go out on the road and recruit the tri-state area with Tuesday, Wednesday, and Friday morning workouts. Uh, then we would come back and turn around and have our, our families on campus and put on our show here with, with what we do within our recruiting process and host families, and, you know, as well as trying to uh, start to formulate some X's and O's. So it's been an interesting process and not just recruiting. So I want to certainly let everybody know what that process consists of. You know, trying to expedite all those things. Uh, a lot of thanks to be given out. A lot of thanks to be given out. Dr. Uh, Gervasi, our president, obviously. And, you know, a lot of people that are in this room. Uh, a lot of support on here. Speaking at our presentation and what we do on campus. Uh, Cindy Peck, admissions. I really appreciate her staff and working alongside staff, and, you know, it was an easy transition, easy process. Uh, financial aid, Lisa Flack and her staff trying to get all the paperwork processed and, you know, back and forth uh, between her and the kids get accepted and, you know, formulating that plan. Dave Erickson in the, in the catering hall, dining facility, accommodating, you know, 30 families a day in uh, different parts of uh, the process. Uh, Coach Bell and the athletic staff uh, appreciate their support and being in our events. Again, it's the first class operation uh, from A to Z. It's very important when these young men are going to entrust us for the next four years and enjoy the process of a great college experience. You know, Donna certainly, Rob filled in for Donna a little bit, uh, getting all the NLIs out. You know, it, it really is a team effort when it comes to recruiting, uh, from the president down uh, to setting up this room. And it, it's, I think that's what allows to be successful. You know, there's so many different people here in different parts of this university that uh, are going to ensure our success because everybody's invested in it. And I think that's something we spoke of right from the get-go. Last but not least, intro of the staff, uh, like we talked about. It was a very tiring process. We didn't have a full complement of, of staff members uh, until that 7th, 8th, and 9th. And, you know, hit the road running and be able to, to sign and commit 11 young men at this early time. We're not finished yet. It's our initial class, uh, our initial signing, and hopefully by the end of February, we'll be able to get another 5, 10, you know, 12 young men that want to be a hawk. You know, it's a pretty process still going on. The big school to finish. Now it's time for the you know, one double A school, division two schools, division three schools. Uh, so it's still going to heat up a little bit. We're going to find those young men that uh, are going to have a great interest here and do that part. They work tirelessly, and I appreciate them. Uh, I've asked a lot of them. A lot of different hats here in a short time, in a short period. The person that has run our whole recruiting, uh, he's our defensive coordinator, but he's also our recruiting coordinator. You know, Coach Bradley is uh, A to Z with everybody. He's a setup man. He's the director of football ops that takes care of everything from A to Z. From transcripts, from dining, from catering, from admissions, to hosting, to uh, the refreshments on campus. And, you know, he gets all our staff in line with all the things they have to do compliance-wise. Uh, you know, without him and the job he's done, wouldn't be where we are at this point. Uh, Gary Bass is our O-line coach. He is our strength and conditioning coach. We've hit that ground running in our weight room four days a week. That's been another part of our, our daily process through this recruiting process. Um, Joe Picasso just came aboard from McPherson College. Uh, he's going to work with defensive backs. So he just uh, passed his NCAA test yesterday, so we got him on the phone right away. Another guy in a different area. Jason Kilday, going to coach our receivers. And happy to have Jason back with us. I can't say enough about our three GAs. When I first got here, our first athlete meeting was myself and 
three chief graduate assistants that are taking classes, going to school. And uh, I looked around and I said, wow, this is uh, a coaching job, and here's my full-time staff for the first 20-some days. <laughs> well, I can tell you, you know, they've done a great job. It's, uh, it's, it's a mentorship, it's an internship, they're getting the degrees, obviously. Uh, they come from great institutions and they're undergrads, but they're not full-time guys with experience. They are full-time guys because we treat them that way. They've been on the road, uh, they're taking classes, they're coaching our kids. So that's the one great, another, another positive about what we're doing here at a small college is that everybody's involved. So it's myself and it's eight full-time guys. And uh, they're going to learn like I have. And that's, uh, that's part of my responsibility, to make sure that they're able to ensure their success and learn as much as they can from myself and our staff in order to continue to prolong the profession in, in this career. And uh, they've done a great job, and I appreciate you guys and what you've done. Recruiting thoughts, recruiting mentality. Get to the meat and potatoes of our signing class. We signed 11. You know, coming off a season and a spring ball that we were not present obviously presents a little bit of an issue with, you know, how well can your guys play the game in your current, in your, in your current program. So all we have to go on really is last year's film and uh, our, our morning workouts, our weightlifting. But we all know that we've all seen those 40 times across the country, the NFL combine, and, you know, all those measurables. But when it comes down to playing the football game, really don't know, you know, who we have. So our, our recruiting philosophy was just to go out and recruit the best student athletes that we could at every position. Uh, whether we had great guys coming back, not so great guys coming back, I don't think that matters in your program. I think every year you need to sign the best players you can to ensure that four, five, six, that eight years down the road. Uh, very difficult that you're successful when you miss a recruiting class. I've been a part of that and it's hard to recover. Uh, it's a four year, you know, one recruiting class is a four year process. So if you miss on that first or that second or that third class, you're behind the eight ball because you're not uh, getting a lot of depth, um, maybe some big time players. So you're constantly trying to catch up and that makes it very difficult. So without knowing again, football wise and being through a spring or summer or even a season, we thought that was the best way to go about it. You know, find the best available guys. What position did they play? You know, what we thought of them, what careers they had, what programs they came from. You know, look at some of our, our stats a little bit on those guys team captains, uh, some of the guys from the state games, these state games, they were quarterfinals, semifinalists. Uh, they played at a high level on film. And what we watch, we put a lot of stock into what we see. Uh, you'll notice the measurables on those guys. You're gonna say, oh, wow, coach, he's a little small, I need for that position, or he's a little bit too heavy, or you know, we watch his highlight film. And, you know, we, we recruit what we see. We believe in our evaluation, and we're gonna recruit to our system. Uh, we're not gonna concern ourselves with you know, where they're rated or where they're ranked or who thinks they're this or, you know, they have all these schools looking at them, they're going higher. And that's great. We have to find out who is going to best fit this university, who is going to be best fit, how they can be a part of a great team chemistry and great football program that we're going to establish here. So we kind of went up again a little bit. We wanted to hit the tri-state area. I think you'll see that. Uh, uh, the one Floridian that we do have uh, happens to be related to another Floridian that we have in our program. So. We're excited to have him aboard. You know, at the end of the day, that's how it works. You know, this is going to be a family atmosphere. Uh, he comes from another, uh, now there's two brothers on the team, obviously, and we're excited to, to have Cody in our program. And that's how it goes. We all know that part of the business. Sometimes it's not what you know, it's who you know. And there's a fit there. It was good for some person of his family, and now it's you know, good for him as well. And that's the same with this class that we went ahead and signed. You know, we think they're great football players. So by signing these guys and this 11, we're hoping that the next 10, 12 days, that's going to trigger an effect because we believe that these guys are great players. They come from great areas of the tri-state area. And their other colleagues, their other student athletes, senior are going to say, wow, he chose Quincy. Let me take a little bit better look at that place because if it's good enough for him, it might be good enough for me. And that's a big part.